friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. But today is another Christmas video because it's Vlogmas and it is Trader Joe's Christmas Extravaganza. This is the second video I have done of all of the holiday Christmas goodies that have come into Trader Joe's and this video is another huge haul with lots of exciting new things. Before we jump into the Trader Joe's haul and taste test, let's take a look at today's Christmas attire. So today is ugly Christmas sweater day. My Santa and reindeer here are doing the dab amidst a gorgeous disco ball. I picked this sweater up at Shopco a couple of years ago. So I have a ton of fun new holiday things from Trader Joe's. Once again, I did not buy everything just because there were items that we wouldn't use or wouldn't like or maybe just didn't fit into what we have planned for the holidays. But at the end of the video, after the taste test, I will show you those additional available items at Trader Joe's and we'll talk about those so you know what to add to your next Trader Joe's grocery list. I will be taste testing everything that I picked up with the exception of two items. One of them you have to make and the second one I'm actually saving for Christmas, but I'm gonna show those to you because they look incredibly delicious. They're adorable along with everything else that Trader Joe's puts out for the holidays. I also picked up a fun Grinch that stole Christmas item that isn't food that of course I'm going to show you as well. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really helps out my channel. And if you're not already, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, help me reach my 30,000 subscriber goal by the end of 2020. I am this close, so I could definitely use your help. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. Check out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. It's a great time to take advantage of macro or calorie calculation. Get yourself set up for the new year. Also one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. Also nutrition coaching makes a great gift. So take advantage of that and check out my website down in the description box. You'll also find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things. And lastly, the link to head over and join us on Facebook. We would love to have you join our community over there. It is growing. It is 17,000 amazing supportive members strong. So come on over and join us there. So without further ado, it's Christmas. It's Trader Joe's. Let's do the taste test. show you the two items that I picked up that I won't actually be tasting. Again, one of them I have to prepare and the other one I'm saving actually for Christmas day. The first item are these festive tortilla chips. I hauled these in my fall haul, the leaf shaped ones, and they were really good tortilla chips and they're just super cute to put out for your gatherings at Christmas. These are festive shaped tortilla chips. They are shaped in stockings, trees, and bells. How fun. How cute. So I'm going to save these for Christmas Eve. I'll probably put together some good homemade salsa to pair with this, maybe some queso because who doesn't love queso? But I think these chips are absolutely adorable. And one last thing, I will be putting prices and points here on the screen as well for you. So you kind of know what to expect point wise, calorie wise, and price wise. The other item are these chocolate peppermint chunk cookies. Now this is an actual mix, so it makes it really easy to make these cookies. All you need is butter and an egg, whip this up and you have really good cookies. Now by the time you see this video, we would have tried these, so I will put our thoughts right here on the screen for you, but I'm excited for these because you guys know I love anything peppermint and I love anything chocolate. So let's jump into the taste test portion of the video. So I want to start with some spices or even what would be a really great gift. And this is the Trader Joe's Spice Market Curated Seasoning Blends. There are five different blends in this packet. So you have your normal everything but the bagel, your chili lime seasoning, everything but the elote seasoning. Now I have all three of those, but what's exciting is these two seasonings right here, you cannot purchase separately. They only come in this seasoning pack. So we're going to try them. We're just going to put it on our finger and we're going to taste them. There's cocoa, cinnamon, sugar. How good? 
does that sound? And then there's an Italian seasoning with fennel. So we are going to try both of these to see what they taste like. But this entire pack is $9.99, which is a pretty good deal. It's about the regular cost of the spices. I think they're about $2 a piece normally. But what's fun is this is a great gift, but this is also great to get two seasonings that you can't buy any other time of year and you can't buy individually. So first we're gonna do the cocoa cinnamon sugar. Now this is actually one point per teaspoon, but it says on here to put this on cinnamon toast and you get that little bit of kick of nutmeg so anything that you would put cinnamon on pumpkin pie spice on this would be a great addition to that oh it smells good I smell nutmeg I smell cinnamon so I'm excited to try this out so this is what it looks like it definitely looks like pumpkin pie spice you can see the cinnamon the nutmeg the sugar wow <laughs> this is incredible I taste all the things cocoa cinnamon nutmeg sugar it is sweet it's spicy this is really good hey trader joe's if you're watching bring this back permanently this is so good then we're going to try the spicy italian style sprinkle with fennel now this is zero calories so of course zero smart points this sounds really good so it is black pepper salt roasted garlic paprika dried rosemary cracked fennel cracked red pepper cumin powder and cumin seeds so really all things italian so here's what the seasoning looks like you can see all of the spices i'm wondering actually how spicy this is i'm a little nervous to be honest delicious this is really good as well it does have a little bit of a kick i definitely taste the fennel which i actually really really like it isn't as spicy as i thought but it, there is still a kick so if you're sensitive to spicy this is still a good option. This is really good. Another one that should be permanent, Trader Joe's. Before we jump into the sweet things, because that's mostly what I have, we're going to give these almonds a try. These are brand new at Trader Joe's. These would be fantastic to put out for the holidays. Great choice to have multiple flavored nuts in one can. So this is the Trader Joe's, a trio of almonds. There's caramel coffee almonds, sesame honey almonds, and roasted and salted almonds. Here is what the almonds look like. Oh my gosh, these look so good. So I'm actually going to try one of each of the almonds. Let, let you know what I think. So let's start with just the plain Jane roasted salted. Good. It's an almond. It has a little bit of salt. It's nice and crunchy. It's nothing to write home about. It's nothing spectacular. It's a roasted and salted almond. Next is the caramel coffee almond. Uh, I love coffee and caramel. So good. Coffee is front and center. You definitely get the sweetness from the caramel. Wow, that was really good. Now for the sesame honey. That one was my favorite. That was so good. It was super sweet from the honey. And then you get that earthiness, that nuttiness from the sesame seeds. So good. I can only imagine what a handful of all the flavors together would taste like. These are really good. I'm excited about these. I'm probably going to purchase a second can. Again, great to put out at the holidays in a bowl. They look pretty and it's a wide variety of nuts and they all taste really good. In my last video, I showed you guys the English Toffee Bites. They came in that big can and I decided not to buy them just because I had bought so many sweet things. So when I went this week and I saw that they have the English Toffee Bites in these little pouches, I was pretty excited. There are two servings in this pouch, so you could really eat the whole pouch and not feel as terrible as if you ate the whole tin of English Toffee, but one half of this pouch is one serving and it's 160 calories. I'm excited to try these because I love English toffee and toffee is a little hard to make. It's really easy to cross the line into burnt or overcooked toffee. So I'm excited for these. So here's what they look like. They look like little miniature almond rocas. Wow. So good, better than almond roca, so buttery, and the toffee is perfect. The consistency is crunchy, but yet soft enough that it's not super hard. The chocolate, the nuts, these are amazing. Great stocking stuffer gift. Great thing to pick up if you have a hard time with portions on sweet things. This little mini bag is a great option. How about some chocolate? Who doesn't love the Candy Cane JoJo's? I showed those in my last haul video, and they were one of my very favorite things. They have them covered in chocolate, without chocolate, their kind of Trader Joe's holiday tradition that comes out every single year. So now they've put it into a chocolate bar. This is the Candy Cane JoJo's Dark Chocolate Bar. It says Dark Chocolate Bar with JoJo's Cookie Bites generously topped with crushed peppermint. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's three servings in this bar and each serving is 140 calories. So here's what it looks like. You can see that it's dark chocolate. It's nice and thick with the candy canes on the bottom. I'm hoping for cookie bits and peppermint. So good again, so good. There are cookie bits in the chocolate, which is awesome. I'm really glad they did dark chocolate because it helps balance out the sweet. Those cookie bits are sweet, the peppermint is sweet. So the dark chocolate is a really nice balance and it's not bitter. This is really good. Another great stocking stuffer idea. Candy cane chocolate covered almonds. This is my dream in a package. I love almonds, I love peppermint anything, and I love chocolate, white chocolate. So this I was super excited about, brand new at Trader Joe's. These are roasted almonds dipped in dark chocolate then enrobed in white chocolate and covered with candy cane bits. Seriously, dreams are made in this package right here. You can have nine almonds for 160 calories and there's about eight servings per container. Here is what they look like. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Here's to making dreams come true. My favorite holiday treat to date. These are so good. I don't taste the dark chocolate at all. I taste creamy and I mean creamy white chocolate. The peppermint just punches you in the face. It is there. It is front and center, which is exactly what I wanted. And then you get a nice crunch of the almond. What I also love about these is there is a good chocolate to almond ratio. It's a pretty thick chocolate coating. So it's not just almond with a little bit of chocolate. It is the perfect balance. I will definitely be buying more of these. So this is the last pepperminty thing I have for this haul, so let's do this one. This is the handmade candy cane, and this is with cocoa cream filled center. So great stocking stuffer. It is again the pairing of chocolate and peppermint. I'm hoping that there's a good amount of chocolate in the center because candy canes are really strong peppermint flavor and I just don't want it to overpower the chocolate that's in the center. So there is a good amount of chocolate. You can see that nice ribbon of chocolate in the middle of the candy cane. This is good. I definitely taste way more candy cane than I do chocolate. I don't really taste a lot of chocolate. I get the texture, but not so much the taste, but it's really good. This entire candy cane is 200 calories. Stocking stuffer number three. This is another one I was pretty darn excited about. This is the Trader Joe's Sweet and Salty Snack Mix, a fun mix of chocolate, drizzled, and salted snacks. Oh my goodness. So let's look at what's in here. So there are mini peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, oh, half dipped chocolate covered potato chips, what? Chocolate drizzled caramel popcorn and roasted and salted peanuts. One third cup, 140 calories. Can you see that? Look at that with the potato chips and the popcorn. I'm pretty excited about this. So first I'm gonna try the chocolate potato chip, the chocolate covered caramel corn, the mini peanut butter filled pretzel, and the peanut. So good. If you love sweet and salty, this is for you. My favorite thing in here is by far the chocolate covered potato chip and then the caramel corn with the chocolate. The pretzels and the peanuts are a nice addition and I think that if you took a handful that they would really come into play a little bit more than eating them individually, but really good great to have on christmas it's salty and sweet you can put this in a bowl it's really pretty and it's a great snack lastly we have a couple of cookies starting with baton cookies now this isn't christmas necessarily but it could be a great gift for someone or again great to put out on the table at christmas but this is the baton lovers quartet it is delicate rolled wafer cookies with hazelnut chocolatey orange cocoa and cookies and cream two cookies are 110 calories so when you open it up this is what you see basically the four individual packages of the different flavors of cookies first up is the orange chocolate this is really good it reminds me of those chocolate oranges that you break and eat the slices it's really good the wafer is nice and crispy there is a ton of filling so you really get that chocolate orange really good next is the cocoa baton it's pink and it is filled with chocolate it's good it has good chocolate flavor but it's a little lackluster compared to the chocolate orange but if you just are going for straight chocolate and a fudgy chocolate this is perfect next are the hazelnut batons Ooh, they smell good i smell hazelnut i smell chocolate i'm hoping for nutella vibes 
Ooh, yeah, that's good. I definitely taste chocolate, taste hazelnut. The crispiness of the wafer is a little more crispy in this one for some reason, but it is really good. If you love Nutella, you'll love this. Last but certainly not least, cookies and cream. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I'm excited. This one is my second favorite. So for me, chocolate orange is number one, cookies and cream is number two, chocolate hazelnut is number three, and then just the cocoa or chocolate is number four. Last are the decked out Christmas tree cookies. These are so cute. They are cookies with a milk chocolate filling, white chocolate drizzle, and festive sprinkles. So they're a spin on a sugar cookie. Here's what they look like. Oh my gosh, those look so good. One cookie is 130 calories. See that chocolate? That is the center of the cookie. Really good. It's not my favorite. I mean, it's sweet, but not overly sweet. I do like the chocolate and the sprinkles, and it does have the chocolate on the back. I like these. I probably wouldn't repurchase these, but 130 calories for one cookie is not bad at all. So if you're craving something sweet or you want something pretty to put out at Christmas, this is good. So the items that I didn't pick up were these cocoa chili spiced pecans for $4.49. They sound really good. It says sweet, spicy, and nutty, but I did not pick them up only because I chose the almonds instead. Also these caramel coffee cast shoes sound really good as well, but I picked only one nut to try. And again, I chose the almond, but can't go wrong. The coffee and the caramel. Over the river and through the woods Trek mix. I actually bought this last year and it's, it's pretty good. It's, not something I want to repurchase again, but if you like trail mix, it's a good option. And it is $4.99 for quite a big bag. They had another liqueur. They had the gingerbread for $8.99. They had the peppermint and a bunch of other different flavors for the holidays. I may actually pick these up closer to Christmas. Oh, eggnog was the other one because they look really good. And who doesn't love a good adult beverage on Christmas? They also had a new tea, the winter tea. Now, I think that they actually had this last year. I did not pick it up. I have so much tea the spicy snack bar mix is new as well and this sounds pretty good for $4.99 but I'm not a big spicy person neither is Troy so I didn't know if we'd eat this but if you love spice or your family loves spice add this to your Christmas table the pepperonese cookie mix for $2.99 I was trying to decide which cookie mix I wanted and I went with the peppermint one but this sounds really good as well if you like Peppernies, if I'm pronouncing that right, cookies. These are so cute. These are cookie mug hangers, crunchy spiced cookies designed to fit on the rim of your mug. So if you have kids or you're having a get together where you're gonna be serving coffee or hot cocoa, how fun to hang these little huggers on the mug. I also spotted fig butter for $2.49. I love all of the other butters I picked up during the fall. The pumpkin butter and all those butters were delicious. So the fig one sounds really good as well. I may grab this before the season is over. Also, they have a huge Belgium cookie collection for $9.99 in a beautiful red tin. You guys saw my cookies. I didn't need another cookie in my house, but if you love Belgian cookies or you have a big gathering coming up for the holidays, this would be perfect. And of course, that jingle jingle is back. I bought this last year. This is delicious. It's actually very addicting and it's very, very high in calories and points, but it's delicious. So if you want a really festive holiday treat, definitely grab the jingle jingle. It also makes great gifts because it comes in this really cute tin. So that's everything that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the second Trader Joe's haul of Christmas 2020. This is probably the final haul. I don't know that they'll get enough new things in between now and the holidays to do another haul. But if I pick up any of them, you'll see them in my grocery hauls, which are posted every Saturday. This was super fun to do. I have lots of treats to share with others now. And I hope that it gives you some good ideas of what to add to your next Trader Joe's list, some gift ideas, stocking stuffers. It was a pretty fun haul and everything was really, really good. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to help me reach my 30,000 subscribers. It would mean the world to me by subscribing and turning the bell on next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. It's Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every day, so don't miss out. Check out that description box for my nutrition coaching website, as well as links and discount codes to my favorite things, and of course, my Facebook group. Merry Christmas, happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.